Hey, good day, everybody. This is Dennis with Team JAG out of Salem, Oregon. I work out of uh, Wallace Marine Park, a wonderful uh, facility. If you ever get a chance to officiate there, please do so. Jump all over that. Main reason is you've got Team JAG out there, uh, headed up by founder John Garrett. Uh, John is a uh, longtime Pac-12 evaluator, longtime USA uh, softball official, umpire in chief, and soon to be a uh, Hall of Famer in the uh, Pacific Northwest region in 2021. John's an exceptional UIC, uh, one of those guys that uh, if you're doing something wrong, he's probably going to see it. Uh, and a USA softball. Thank you very much. Again, this is uh, not again, but uh, this was picked up uh, in uh, the National Umpire School out of Auburn, Washington, this PowerPoint in uh, January, February of 2020, just before COVID. So thank you, USA softball. Great job. And great job to the Auburn uh, Washington uh, group. They put on a wonderful two day uh, national umpire school. All right, let's get it on. All right, so getting started, we're going to jump into four key things to remember in the three umpire system. We'll start with a little bit of rotation. Uh, number one, rotation in the three umpire system is always in a clockwise direction. So here we've got our uh, three umpires U1, U3, and the plate. Uh, and the rotation is always clockwise. Uh, first is going to come home, uh, plate's going to go to third, and the third base umpire is going to go to second, maybe first, depending on the play. Uh, but uh, more importantly, it's always in a clockwise direction. Again, really simplifies it. You're going to go clockwise uh, and uh, in the three umpire system. Number two, when the umpires start from a counter rotated position, you will not rotate. So bottom line is that if you're counter rotated, and there's our uh, our blue uh, and just behind the second baseman, uh, they are counter rotated. You've got a runner on second base and then you've got the U3 off of third, but you're counter rotated. So therefore there is no rotation. U1 is gonna pick up first and second. Uh, U3 is going to uh, have responsibility for third uh, and uh, the plate is going to obviously take care of the plate, but you're gonna stay home. So as you pre-pitch, uh, prepare, pre-pitch preparation, uh, remind yourself that you're counter rotated and you will not rotate when you're in this position. All right, number three, when a base umpire goes to the uh, outfield, the crew reverts to a two umpire system. So there's our U1 and U3 highlighted there. When it, Let's just say that U1 is going to go out, U3 cuts across the diamond, picks up the batter runner. How come? Because you're in a two man, two umpire system. Uh, likewise, if U3 goes, then U1 has responsibility to cut in, button hook in, and take that batter runner all the way to third base. How come? Because we're in a two umpire system. That really makes it easy. Uh, so bottom line is that uh, when you go to the outfield, uh, you're in a two umpire system. Number four, when a base umpire goes to the outfield, uh, not only are you in a two umpire system, but that umpire should remain outside and allow the ball to turn them back to the infield and observe the remainder of the play. Bottom line, if you go out, stay out. You do want to be a second set of eyes for your two-man crew, uh, but don't uh, come back into the infield, stay out. Again, be a second set of eyes and observe uh, the remainder of the play in case uh, you, need, uh, you need some help. So if you go out, you're going to stay out. All right, just to kind of rehash the four keys uh, to remember in the three umpire system, and it's pretty much this simple. Uh, always rotate clockwise. When you're counter rotated, do not rotate. When one base umpire goes out in a fly ball or base hit, you revert to the two-man system. And when you go out, you stay out.